906 now in this morning explosions going off as planes drop care packages in Gaza. It is not clear which countries were carrying out airdrops or what the source of the explosions was. More aid has been coming into the area over the last few days and over the weekend U.S. Air Force planes dropped dozens of aid packages. This comes as the United Nations says more than a quarter of Gaza's population is facing starvation right now. More than 30,000 Palestinians have been killed since the start of the war which is now in its sixth month. Yesterday Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said a military operation in Rafah will be inevitable and will last for several weeks. IDF campaigns across northern and central Gaza have displaced much of the population to the southern town of Rafah. Israeli officials call it one of the last Hamas strongholds in the region. And while he still supports Israel's right to self-defense, President Joe Biden continues warning Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu against a full-scale ground invasion into Rafah. He must, he must pay more attention to the innocent lives being lost as a consequence of the actions taken. He's hurting, in my view, he's hurting Israel more than helping Israel. Joe Biden there with an interview at MSNBC. Meanwhile, with the Muslim holy month of Ramadan now underway, displaced Palestinians throughout Gaza are trying to celebrate the best they can. But because the holiday involves fasting from sunrise to sunset, medical professionals are concerned about how people will fare given that food and clean water right now are so scarce there.